Hello and welcome. If you are new to this channel, this is a game making channel where we learn how to create our own games with the help of a game engine G Develop. So come along and let's create our own games. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create boundaries. This will prevent your character from getting out of the boundaries that you've created for yourself. In this case, this is my boundary, which is the red layer, preventing my player from getting out of the box that I've created for it. This can help you in creating any type of game that you want to that involves barriers or boundaries. So I'll go ahead and close my game and then show you how that is done. First of all, you're going to need a barrier or any sprite at all that you're going to use to create your boundaries drag that sprite onto the screen and then either create a triangle or a circle or a square whatever shape that might fit your liking just go ahead and get that done from there click right here on this three dots and then get into edit object click on behavior click on your plus sign and then click on platform and make sure your platform is set to the type platform and that's it so after that click on apply from there get into your new scene event so i'm going to get rid of my event and then walk you through it so you click right here on your new empty event and then click on add a condition in your search panel you can either type collision get you there faster or you can click on common conditions for all objects and then click on collision click on collision and you are going to choose here not your player but your player hitbox remember when it comes to platformer in we develop player hitbox is the actual moving object the player or the alien or the sprite is just a face so after that set your objects to your barrier which means if your player hitbox is in collision with your barrier you are going to add an action which says get into common action for all objects and then click on position here you can go ahead and click on separate two objects and then choose the object you want to separate here you can go ahead and choose your player it's okay and then the object that wants to move is going to be barrier. So what we've just done is if our player hitbox is in collision with that of our barrier, we are saying our player should move away from the barrier, which will prevent our player from getting out of the barrier we created. So I'm going to go ahead and run the game. So this allows you to your own game in a confined area or barrier. It can be a wrestling game where you don't get to get out, you are just confined in an area and then you just be fighting, 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 throwing bullets and that's it. So thank you very much for watching this video. If this video was helpful to you, click on the like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment if you have a problem with GDevelop or you are new to GDevelop and you need any help leave a comment if you are not seeing the comment section send me a message on my facebook i have that link in my about section and i'll willingly help you out bye